It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 324. In today's episode, Dunkin' Donuts, tiny home powered by coffee. Coffee may help you power through your day, but what if it also powered everything in your home? Dunkin' Donuts, or just Dunkin' as they'll soon be known as, hosted a tiny pop-up concept home in New York City. But it's not your typical tiny home. This one is powered by coffee. Dunkin' Donuts Coffee at Home opened the tiny home to the public on October 4th. The mobile tiny home features a queen-size bed, dishwasher, hot tub, shower, fold-out patio, dining nook, hidden storage spaces, full kitchen, and dual washer-dryer in just 275 square feet. This little house has more stuff than my house. The fuel that powers the home generator is made from an oil that's produced from spent Dunkin' coffee grounds, which comprises 80% of the final product, while the rest is alcohol. The generator makes it possible to have a whole range of amenities from the washer dryer to air conditioning, a refrigerator, and lighting, all powered by coffee. The recycled grounds were processed by Blue Marble Biomaterials, a company that custom develops products out of plant materials. Actress and filmmaker Olivia Wilde, who contributed to the interior design, told Food & Wine, quote, The architecture is incredible. It's really innovative. I bought some accents to it, so it felt more like a home. But everything has been thoughtfully sourced, like the wood, which is supposed to mimic the idea of a dark cup of coffee, end quote. Duncan's marketing exercise aims to make a deeper connection with its fans, especially the younger demographic, while sending a message that the company embraces sustainability and efforts to reduce energy consumption. By the time we air this story, this exhibit may have closed, but you can view images on our website, ecommerceminute.co, or check out a 360-degree walkthrough video at duncanathome.com. Tiny coffee-powered house, Bart. Mm-hmm. I could use one of those. I drink so much coffee. coffee. I could use coffee and I could use a little coffee house. Yep. I, I, would, do all, I would do all my solid thinking out there. I'd park the tiny house out back and just be like, I'm going to go do my thinking now and have some coffee. And you, would think, you would think you'd be up for 24 hours all the time because you're in a coffee house. In a coffee house. It's a very electric atmosphere. It's very, uh, it's very caffeinated in there. Do you have uh, the lights are always on. Music? There's always someone like thinking about something or, or like there's a guy in the, in the corner, like always tapping his leg, his legs always moving. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, that's it's just a little branding exercise. I thought this was an interesting story, how they combined, uh, you know, the sustainability angle of it, which we always talk about, um, you know, appealing to the younger demographic. Of course, where, where did they set this up? It was in New York. Which park was it in? Bryant, not Bryant Park. Mm-hmm. Look that up, but anyway, um, this is totally aimed at a younger demographic trying to get some brand aware- aware- awareness that uh, maybe Duncan is thinking about sustainability. Who knows if that's really the case, but that's kind of the message that they're trying to send. Um, I just wonder where where these ideas come from, like. Well, Would it be Blue Marble saying, "Hey, we got we know how to make oil out of your coffee. Let's do a." A promo, like where does this originate from? I always think that, you know, I come from a sort of an agency marketing advertising background and ideas come from the weirdest places. Um, Agency, most of the time. I mean, there's plenty of agencies that have their own labs and and kind of think tank type of places where they just kind of come up with crazy ideas. I mean, you know, commercials don't work, so you got to think about some other means of advertising, right? And, and I'll, I'll use a flash. cliche, think out of the box. Out of the, you have to think outside of the tiny box. Well, this is actually a box. That's right. <laughs> Next round, 20 points. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so this is pretty interesting. Um, not really much that I can add to this. It is actually, design-wise, it is, I got to say, it's pretty cool. I don't know who Olivia Wilde is. Maybe she's out of my demographic, but she, she's all the videos. Tons of movies. What's that? She's tons of movies. Tons of movies. Okay. She's also married to Jason Sudeikis. Really? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Remy on December 13, a uh, house. Okay. So I know. I, 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 I hated house. I, hate, I know. I actually love that show. I hated that show. Uh, I never saw Change Up. I never saw Tron Legacy. I never saw Cowboys. Yeah, she is not in my wheelhouse. No, but she's married to She's Jason. married to Jason Sudeikis. Boy, where have I been? How about <laughs> yeah. that? It's a weird combo. But yeah. I looked at her on all the promo stuff. I, I, I didn't even recognize her face. Like, I have no idea who this woman is. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's 13 in the, uh, right. the house. My favorite thing out of all this whole story, 
which has nothing to do with the story, but the notes in the story. <laughs> we write these notes for, John actually writes them. And the inside says just, it just usually has like fun facts. This one just There's has usually six or talk. seven paragraphs of stats. So in case we yeah. have to like dance and jive around the story a little bit. This one just literally says, mm, coffee. Mm, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to say. <laughs> Welcome to a little bit of insight, what we do. All right. So as I say, we got some pictures of this groovy little tiny house on our website, ecommerceminute.co. And as I said, we can see, you can see the um, 360 degree walkthrough video at dunkinathome.com. Bart, do you have anything to add to this hot, delicious story? <clears throat> Drink more coffee so we can pour, power more houses. Power more houses. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.